Hello everyone, welcome to AJ Programming Solutions. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the top 10 Java interview questions on the Stream API. So currently if you are attending the interview for the Java technology stack, then mostly you will see the interviewers are asking the questions on the Java 8 topics. And in the Java 8, there is a hot topic which is Stream API. So you will get so many coding questions and with that you need to solve using the java 8 stream api okay so today we have some commonly asked interview questions and all these interview questions we will be solving using stream api okay so let's just understand the problem statement what we have for today so here actually i have the 10 problem statements or maybe the 10 questions which we need to solve okay so this type of questions you can see in the interview mostly this type of questions are coming okay so let's just um, do one by one all the questions okay so very first let me just explain you what i did here i just created one employee class in this employee class i have the employee id then employee name department salary the employee gender age and we have one more field which is joining year okay so these are the fields we have for the employee class and i just created the constructor okay and in this constructor we have all the fields initialized after that i just created the getter and setter for each and every field okay and then i just created the two string method okay so this is just the pojo class you can see this is the employee class and we have this many fields in the employee class okay now this is my demo class and in this demo class we will be writing uh, the code for these problem statements okay so now before that what i did i just created some uh, let's suppose the 10 11 employees okay with the, some dummy data see here we have uh, like uh, the first employee with the name neha then id is 100 we have the department as a dev then salary gender and the joining year okay so this way i just initialized or created uh, the 11 employee objects for our testing purpose so that when we write the code uh, for this problem statement we can just test it okay now after creation of this employees i just created one employee list and in this employee list i have added all this employee which i have created right so if you see here i just added arrays dot as list and i just added all of these employees okay now if i just print this employee list how to print the employee list let's suppose i will just write maybe employee uh, list dot for uh, each employee i will just print this okay now if i just save okay right click and uh, run the code you will see the data for all the employees whatever employees we have created see here we have 11 employees so i am getting the employee uh, details for all these employees whatever we have inserted in the list okay now let's just understand the questions and one by one we will just uh, write the code for that okay so very first question is that we need to print the employee uh, we need to print the employee which is having the highest salary okay so whatever employee is having the highest salary that employee we need to print okay so this interview question is very common and very famous okay so see here what we need to do we have to solve this question using java 8 stream api okay so here if you see the salary of the employee okay so here we have the salary so 25 then 50 35 5000 this way we have the different salaries and if you see here the highest salary for the employee is 98000 okay so we have this employee whose name is max and the id is 108 having the highest salary okay so we have to write the logic so that in the output we can get these employee details okay whose uh, salary is highest which is 98000 okay so now how we can do that let's just go here 
okay and i will just remove this one as i don't want to print the list of the employees and here what i want to do i want to print the employee which is having highest salary okay so how i can do that now we have this employee list so i can just write here the employee list and out of this employee list we can just create the stream or we can just get the stream of this employees okay now i can just use here the collect function and then inside this collect we will be using collectors class and in the collectors class we have the method max by okay now if i just use this max by method see here this max by method is taking comparator as a input here okay or the parameter here so i will just use here max by comparator dot comparing double okay and what we want to compare we want to compare the employee salary so i will be using method reference here employee get salary okay and now if i just write here dot get i will just get that particular employee okay so what i did here see i just use this employee list and then we have uh, used the stream function okay then we have the collect inside this collect function we will be using collectors dot max by method and this max by method will be taking the comparator okay so i have used here comparator dot comparing double method and we are comparing based on this salary so i just used here method reference and i have passed get salary method okay and this will return us the optional and as we want the employee object i just use dot get method okay now here if i just assign the variable show context and introduce the local variable okay so here we have the employee which is having the highest salary okay so now if i just print it maybe a south employee and if i save and run the program we should get the highest paid employee okay let's just execute it see here we are getting the employee whose id is 108 and if you see the salary is 98000 right and if we go above here you will see that 98000 is the maximum salary okay we have the maximum salary as a 98000 okay so this way if you get the question to print the employee which is having highest salary you can write the solution that this way okay you just need to use the list get the stream out of this then we will be using the collect method in the collect we will use collectors dot max by method and in the max by we will pass the comparator it will comparing the employees based on the salary and whatever will be the maximum salary that employee details we will get okay so here just to get that particular object we are using get method otherwise it will return the optional okay i hope this is clear to everyone okay now the second question okay now let me just uh, comment this line okay so that we don't uh, get this employee details in the output okay now the second question is how many male and female employees are there in the list okay now we need to print the count of male employees and count of female employees okay so how we can do that see here we have the employee list okay so emp list then we will be using the stream as every question we will be solving using java at stream api okay so i have the list of the employees so from this list of the employee i will just get the stream and now what i want i want the count of male and female employees right so here i need to differentiate the male employees and female employees okay so how i can do that for that what we can do we can use employee list then stream and here i will just use collect and inside this collect we have collectors class so we can just use this collectors class and we want the male and female employees right so here i will use collectors dot grouping by method and based on what we want to group we want to group the employees based on their gender right so i will just use here 
employee and here we have to pass gender method right so method reference i will be using so what what i did understand here i have the list from this list we got the stream then we are using the collect method in the collect we have collectors class and we want to group by, uh, like group the employees based on their gender right we want the male employee count and female employee count so i will use grouping by method here the first parameter will be you want to group by what i want to group by the gender of the employee and then what you want you want the count of the uh, male and female employees so here i will be using collectors uh, collectors dot counting method is there okay so see here we have the counting method right now if you see here i will just do the enter group by employee gender and print the count for that okay now here i will just uh, maybe uh, assign the variable okay so it will return you the map okay if i just show you see here it is returning you the map of string and long in the string you will get the male or the female and in the long you will get like uh, whatever will be the count for the male and female employees okay now let me just print it here i will just print s out and maybe um, count of male and female employees right so just copy and paste here save and execute it see here i executed the code now see we have the four male employees and seven female employees right if we go to our data see here if you see um this one right so i have one two three four five six and seven seven female employees and uh, the four male employees okay so we are getting the correct result here we have four male employees and seven female employees okay and how we have uh, like calculated this if we go to the solution see here we have used like the list the employee list we got the stream out of that list then we use the collect method inside this collect we have collectors class which is having grouping by method and in this grouping by method we will pass you want to group by what i want to group by employees gender and then i want the count for that right i want the count for male and female employees so i have used collectors dot counting method okay and it will return us the map okay so here the key will be like is it a male or female employee okay and value will be the count of that male employee or the female employee okay so this way whenever you get this type of questions like uh, whenever you want to group by the employees based on their gender or maybe based on the department or any value then you can just write the solution this way okay i hope you are clear with this question okay now let's go to the second question sorry the third one okay so what this is saying the third question is that how many employees are there in a per department right we have different departments here right if you see here we have dev department we have hr department we have qa department okay so we need to print the employees okay as per their department okay or maybe how many employees are there in a per depart department so let's suppose in the dev department we have three employees then in the qa department we have two employees right so we just need need to print the department and number of employees we have in that department right so this is very a uh, similar kind of question as we have solved here in the question number 2 in the question number 2 we have uh, calculated the count for male and female employees right the same way we need to calculate the count of the employee per department 
right so how we can solve it see here very uh, similar solution will be there so i will be having the employee list then i will just use the stream method and once i got the stream i will use collect method and in this collector collect method we have collector class okay collectors and then in the collectors class we will use grouping by method in the grouping by method we have to pass you want to group by what so here we want to group by department right so i will be passing here employee and method rep reference for the department right and then what do you want once you like uh, group by the employees based on their department you want to print the count like how many employees are there in that particular department right so for that also you will be using collectors class and in the collectors class we have the counting method okay so this way you will get the count of the employees present in a particular department right so here again i will just um, assign the variable and again it will return you the map so string will be the department or the key here and the value will be the count of uh, like employees in that particular um, uh, department how many employees are there okay now if i just uh, maybe rename the variable here okay so uh, number of employees number of EMPs uh, per department right so this way I uh, we can just give the name okay and I will just print it I will comment the previous one and here we can just write a south a south and number of employees per department okay so save and execute now we should get the number of employees we have in the dev qa and hr department see here in the qa we have three employees in the dev department we have five employees in the hr department we have three employees right if i just go above here to check the result see here uh, we have uh, if i just go here qa how many qa employees we have see one two three so here we got the result as a three then how many dev employees we have one two three four five right so five dev employees and remaining three hr so this way we can get the count of the employees present in a per department okay so i hope this is clear to you okay so we have solved three questions first one is to print the employees which is having highest salary okay then to print the count of male and female employees and then another one is to print how many employees are there in a each department okay so i will just stop uh, this video here and in the next video we will see the remaining questions okay okay that's it for today's video if you like the video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe the channel if you have any questions please mention in the comment section and then uh, i will just see how we can resolve those uh, questions okay thank you